Hey everybody, thanks for tuning in. I'm George Conley with Scratch Golf Tips. Today we're going to be talking about one of the most effective and frankly one of the most simple chipping drills that we can do to improve our game around the greens. So shown on screen is the one-handed chipping drill. It's very simple. You just use one hand and you chip balls. There's another variation of it that we'll show a little bit later on in the video. But for now, if you're a right-handed golfer, you're just going to want to take the club with your left hand. Your right hand has no part in this motion. So uh, I, I sometimes put the hand in my pocket or you can just put it wherever it is as long as it's not on the golf club. Now, this is a great way for anyone who's struggling making solid contact with the ball, especially someone who has uh, some yips around the green because because this motion is so starkly different than a two-handed standard chipping motion, it's really going to help you reset the way that you engage with the club and the way that that club makes contact with the golf ball. So there are three main things that we're working on when just using that front hand. One of them is controlling the club face. Now, oftentimes when people are struggling around the greens, it's because there's too much motion in the club face itself. And too much motion in the club face will lead to inconsistent striking because sometimes when you make contact, that club face will be a little bit closed or sometimes it'll be a little bit open. And not only will that affect where the ball starts off, but also if you have a very closed club face, it's more likely to dig into the ground. If it's more open, you might thin the ball. So there's an inconsistency that comes with all of that club face inconsistency when you're only using using one hand, your club face remains fairly neutral the entire time. It's very difficult to carry the club in the one hand, which you might find awkward and a little bit heavy when holding it with one hand, but there just isn't that much room to move the club face. This is also because for a lot of golfers, they feel that club face and they adjust that club face with their right hand for a right-handed golfer. And that right hand is completely out of the equation. So this is a great way to have more neutral club face motion through impact. Real quick, if you're enjoying this type of content, some on-course content, we'd really appreciate it if you liked this video and subscribe to the Scratch Golf Tips YouTube channel. Another thing that we'll be working on in this drill is low point control, which is something I talk about a lot on this channel. It's very important. Low point control is quite simply how well you can control the lowest point of your golf swing. We want low point control to be incredibly consistent because for chipping, that low point control is synonymous with the point of impact. And the last aspect that this one-handed drill will be addressing is the wrist extension. As I spoke earlier, the club face control is neutralized because that back wrist, the trail wrist, is what controls the club face. But having a little bit of wrist flexion and extension through impact with just that front hand is really going to help you familiarize yourself with the correct mechanics of the wrist and isolate the wrists in the chipping motion so that you can feel how your wrist should be acting and what good wrist extension feels like when you strike the ball well. Now, as you see on screen, some of these shots are fine. They're good results. Other times the ball is ch chunked just a few yards. Uh, another variation of this drill that we can do is an opposite handed drill or what some people refer to as a cack handed drill, which is when if you're a right handed golfer, you just switch your hands. So instead of right hand low, you go left hand low. Uh, for some people, that's a popular putting stroke. And even for a lot of great golfers, this is something that they take out onto the course. Obviously, most notably Matt Fitzpatrick. Uh, actually goes left hand low when he's chipping. This is just a different variation of this drill. Personally, I have a much easier time with the left hand low than I do the wrist. Personally, I have a much easier time with the left hand low chipping than I do just having the left arm on the golf club. That's just me, but they both serve the same purpose. So play around with each of them. As you can see here in this other angle, there are going to be plenty of good shots and there are also going to be a plethora of bad ones, but it's all about maintaining the feels and then after you go through those feels then take a little break you know have some water whatever you need to do and go back to the golf club holding it normally and you should feel something different in your hands this should allow for a proper reset of the mechanics that you have with the club in hand and again if you have yips if you're struggling around the greens just doing this drill 10 minutes with one hand five or ten minutes with the opposite handed drill i really think that this can benefit a lot of people in their confidence and their their ball striking around the greens. We appreciate all the support on these videos. Let me know if you have any comments or questions in the comment section down below. Play well and take care.